So how many of you like penguins? Well, I do. And if you like penguins like I like penguins, you're going to love this book I'm going to share today. It's called Three Cheers for Tacky. It's by Helen Lester. And uh, it's just a very fun little book. Three Cheers for Tacky by Helen Lester. There once lived a group of penguins in a nice, icy land. One was goodly, one was lovely, one was angel, one was neatly, and one was perfect. And one was tacky. Tacky was an odd bird. I love this picture. It shows uh, all of the different penguins, and you can probably guess which one is tacky, can't you? I love how the author used the names to kind of tell you a little bit about their characters. They're very lovely and perfect and, and sweet, aren't they? But Tacky is kind of different, isn't he? When they grew old enough, Goodly, Lovely, Angel, Neatly, Perfect, and Tacky went to school. They read books. They wrote their names. They learned their numbers. And I love this page. Can you see how Tacky does his things just a little bit different than the other penguins? That's okay, isn't it? We all do things a little differently. You can see how they read books uh, all the same, except for Tacky. He has a little different style. And you can see how when they write their names so beautifully in cursive, and Tacky writes his just a little differently, and that's okay. And even with the math, you can see he does his math just a little bit differently, doesn't he? You probably uh, do things different from your friends, and that's okay. It'd be pretty boring if we were all doing everything the same, wouldn't it? Well, look here on the page. It shows a great penguin cheering contest. They're having a contest. So one day at school, the penguins noticed a sign with an exciting announcement. Their class had been invited to take part in a great penguin cheering contest. Penguin classes from all over the iceberg would be there, and the team with the finest cheer would win shiny blue bow ties. Oh, imagine what they could do with shiny blue bow ties. Can you see what they're thinking? Everyone wants to wear it around their neck as a nice bow tie, except Tacky. He's picturing it around his feet. I don't know why he would picture that, but that's just Tacky. Right after school, Goodly, Lovely, Angel, Neatly, and Perfect hurried away to practice their cheer. Softly and properly they began, one, two, three, left, one, two, three, right, stand up, sit down, say good night. And they did it beautifully, even the first time through. I love these pages. They're doing their cheer. See how they're all together? If you've ever watched people do uh, cheers at ball games, it's a lot of work to prepare that, and they try really hard to all do the same thing together. <clears throat> well, then up waddled Tacky a little late and a little loud. What's happening? He blared. We're practicing our cheer, that's what's happening, they replied. One, two, three, left, one, two, three, right, stand up, sit down, say good night. Well, Tacky gave it a try. One, two, three, left, A, B, C, right. Flop down, roll over, say, what's for supper? Tacky, they said patiently, we are a team, and if you are on the team, you must be exactly like the rest of us. He wanted very much to be on the team, so Tacky tried to cooperate and move with a stiff upper, lip, upper beak like the rest of them. But how could he see where he was going with a stiff Stiff upper beak in the way. Uh oh, it's crashing into an iceberg. And directions were not always easy. One, two, three, left. One, two, three, left. One, two, three, left. One, two, three, left. Hey, where is everybody? He wondered. Tacky had trouble coming up with the proper costume. How fun is that? I wonder which, which one. Uh, he picks. And his pom-poms were never quite right. Would this team ever have the chance to win the shiny blue bow ties? Now look, what do you think his classmates are thinking about him right now? Yeah, they look concerned, don't they? 
The penguins practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced until finally, the day before the contest, one, two, three, left, one, two, three, right, stand up, sit down, say good night. Tacky got it right. He finally did it like all the rest of them, didn't he? Well, the next morning, teams from all over the iceberg gathered for the great penguin cheering contest. Each team waited nervously to perform, but no team was more nervous than Tacky's. Could he do it right just one more time? How many of you have ever had to perform in front of people and you know how nervous you feel? It's kind of exciting but scary all at the same time. I think that's kind of how they're feeling. And you know, especially if you have to do it in front of judges and they're going to be judging who's the winner, it can make it extra scary, can't it? Well, let's see what happens. The first team marched on stage. Hip, hip. Well, the judges looked bored. <laughs> That's them. <laughs> Another team marched forth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sis, boom, ba. And backed off. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, the judges yawned. I think they're kind of bored, aren't they? Do those seem like the kind of cheers that you've seen when you've been at football games or other types of sporting events or even at a cheer competition? These don't really seem like the kind of cheers that I'm used to seeing. They're usually a little more exciting, aren't they? A third team chanted, wave the pom-pom, hold it high, bow politely and say goodbye. And the judges snored. That was kind of an interesting little chant, wasn't it? Finally, there was only one team left, Tackies. With quivering beaks, they faced the sleeping audience and the snoring judges. This was it. Here they go. They're getting out there, but they're looking nervous. Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, perfect, and tacky began. One, two, three, all for crying out loud! Oh, no. Look. Tacky's tripped. The audience gasped. Startled by Tacky's loud voice, the odd bird had tripped over the tails of his Hawaiian shirt and crashed belly down. Oh no. And he was really wanting to do it perfectly, just like the rest of them, wasn't he? I don't think it's going very well. His horrified teammates track carried on. One, two, three, right. Poor Tacky, now a bit muddled, pulled his sweater over his head. The sight of a headless penguin got the whole crowd laughing. Stand up, sit down, say good night. Well, by now the crowd was on its feet begging for more. Bravo, that was great, another cheer. Now that seems like a little bit different reaction than the other teams got, doesn't it? Was that what you were expecting them to do when he fell down and tripped and covered his head? They're having fun, aren't they? Tacky poked his head out. Another cheer? Well, if they insisted, he gave them a second cheer. One, two, three, left, A, B, C, right, flop down, roll over, say, what's for supper? There he is. He's doing all the motions like he did the first time when he messed it all up and they were not happy. The crowd roared. The judges slapped each other on the back, and even the other penguin teams clapped wildly. They love it. They love Tacky's cheer, even though it's different from everybody else's. They made it exciting, didn't they? So Tacky led everyone in a third cheer. Okay, here we go, another cheer. He's really getting into this. One, two, three, yay. Rudy, toot, toot, hooray. High flippers, high flippers, we're okay. Penguins everywhere were giving high flippers, kind of like a high five, but they're giving high flippers because penguins have flippers, don't they? They're really liking his cheers. There was no question who wore the shiny blue bow ties home. Tacky was an odd bird, but a nice bird to have around. And there they are, they're celebrating by carrying him on their shoulders and cheering for him. 
So they wanted him to be just like them and it'd all be perfect. And it didn't go that way, but it actually went up better, didn't it? So I think that's a probably a good message for all of us to think about is we don't have to be exactly like everyone else and do things different and in our own way. And that kind of makes it more exciting and fun, doesn't it? You know, one of the things I love about this book is it actually has some pictures of real penguins in the story and has some little cool facts about penguins. And I love this. On this page, it shows that the largest penguin colony in the world has 300,000 couples. Now, if you know what a couple means, that's two people, right? That's a pair or two penguins <clears throat> in this case. So if I wanted to do a little math problem, maybe we could do some calculating after we finish our video and figure out how many total penguins would that be if there were 300,000 couples of penguins. That's a lot of penguins, isn't it? Can you see all of them there? Wow, that's really interesting. At the very, very end, I'll tell you the answer to that math problem, but I'll give you a chance to figure it out first. Now here's some more pictures of penguins. It says here that when a penguin returns from fishing to take care of the egg, it bows and clicks its beak. I'd like to say, I'm back, it's me. You can have your turn to fish now. That's kind of cool. And penguins spend a long time in freezing water. Oh, I wouldn't want that at all. I don't like to be cold. But they do not get cold because they have a thick layer of fat and waterproof feathers. That's interesting. Doesn't really look like they have feathers, does it? Their skin, it looks like smooth skin, but it's actually lots and lots of feathers. And so they have fat with feathers over it and it keeps them warm even when they're uh, trying to go swimming and fishing in freezing cold temperatures in the water. Now here it says in the middle of the resting chicks, a mother calls out to her chick so she can feed it. So it looks kind of like when your mother says, all right, come on home for dinner, it's time to eat. That's what she's doing. She's calling for her baby chick. Did you know that's what baby penguins are called, chicks? It says here, it is not easy for penguins to scratch themselves behind the head, but by bending and twisting, they can. Now that's pretty neat. If they could just bend their head around and scratch their neck, it's pretty good. I can't do that, can you? Interesting. Now here's a nice little poem about penguins. You might want to even maybe practice reading this poem at home and uh, maybe learn to recite it. That might be fun. It's a penguin. It's a penguin poem by William J. Smith. It's called Penguin. I think it must be very nice to stroll about upon the ice, night and day, day and night, wearing only black and white. Always in your Sunday best, black tailcoat and pearl white vest. To stroll about so pleasantly beside the cold and silent sea would really suit me to a tee. I think it must be very nice to stroll with penguins on the ice. I'm going to show you that poem, so if you want to um, take a, a shot at maybe learning it for yourself, that's kind of a fun poem, isn't it? Okay, how many of you did the math? problem that I uh, told you about. If you have 300,000 couples, and a couple is two, one way you could figure it out would be to take 300,000 and times it times two, right? And that would give you 600,000. That's a lot of penguins. Another way you might have figured it was to take 300,000 and double it, because couples means there's double people, right? double amount. So 300,000 plus 300,000 more, and that would make 600,000. So either way you figured it, you came up with, oh, that's over half a million penguins all in one place. Wow. Wouldn't that be cool to see in person? I think I would like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed Three Cheers for Tacky. It's one of my favorite little books. If you like tacky books, there's some others. Yeah, you might uh, be interested in, the, I think this is the first one that they wrote called Tacky the Penguin. It's a good one. It's about hunters coming looking for penguins. And then another one called Tacky Goes to Camp. And that one looks like a lot of fun too. So I would encourage you to get out and read a book today and maybe find one about penguins or some other animal that you're interested in. And 
I'll see you again on another video. I'll share another favorite book.